Konnichiwa everybody, and world 7 here, coming at you from Richie Rich Labs, and today I don't have my green screen because you can't really do a green screen with this green dinosaur. Anyway, we're going to talk about Ark Survival Evolved on the Xbox Series X, Series S, Xbox One X, and One S. Performance, FPS, graphics, the whole shebang bang, and loading times. This is a sequel to my past video, so if you want to check those out, I invite you to check out the playlist on Little Bubble on Top. But without further ado, let's talk about how good ARC has gotten to perform on the next-gen consoles and how well it still does not perform on the older ones. Ladies and gentlemen, here it is, ARC, running on an Xbox Series X on the left, far left, that is detailed mode, and then Xbox Series X non-detailed mode in the middle, and then the Xbox Series S with only one mode on the right. All of these tests are going to have V-Sync disabled, and Xbox One S and Xbox Series S towards the end of the video. But anyway, let's get started. We are looking at a dynamic 4K between uh, 50 to 60 FPS on the Xbox Series X, and then a 1080p, I believe it is locked, but it might be dynamic, on the Xbox Series S. Hopefully someone with bigger resources is going to do the pixel counting, but anyway, that's what I got for you. Uh, definitely, going from an Xbox uh, Series X to Series S, you won't see a day-night difference. Definitely, of course, Xbox Series X looks better uh, in all of its modes compared to the Xbox Series S, but I wouldn't say it's day-night difference. Uh, I would argue even that the Xbox One X still manages to look pretty good too compared to the next-gen consoles. The one that is day and night difference is the Xbox One S, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But I believe that if you want PvP, that's the big question that a lot of you ask me, is you need to go with the Xbox Series X uh, non-detailed graphics mode. And then the Xbox Series S does work, but I recommend you have a VRR, variable refresh rate, or AMD FreeSync enabled TV or monitor for that one. But even then, it'll still manage to defend yourself from the onslaught of others. By the way, real quick, my sponsor. So that was Streaming Live Academy, my sponsor, where I actually do articles, and I invite you to come check them out at streamingliveacademy.com. And they're five to 10 minutes to read, and they sometimes have more information than I can fit into these videos. But anyway, here we go. Xbox One X detailed and non-detailed mode, and then the Xbox One S one mode. Um, look, it's ARC. We, if you played ARC, you know ARC does not perform well. We're looking at like dynamic 4K on the Xbox One X, either mode, uh, targeting 30 to 60 FPS, and then 720p to 900p on the Xbox One S. The difference here is texture quality is bigger uh, change than the actual resolution. In my playtime of my whole time playing ARC, I can highly recommend going for an Xbox One X or series console because the Xbox One S, even though it is hitting supposedly higher FPS, it has a lot of input lag and the texture quality is a lot lower on top of the lower resolution than the other consoles, all of them. If you've checked out my prior video, you will know two things. The loading times on the Xbox Series X and Series S is beautiful. It makes ARC feel modern. It just feels amazing. Cannot describe it. You have to experience ARC on the Xbox One S and even the One X, even though the Xbox One X loads faster considerably than the Xbox One S, when you're loading ARC Survival Evolved on the Xbox Series consoles, it's just, it's beautiful. You have to experience it yourself. But besides that, that is my tech analysis for ARC Survival Evolved running on all Xbox consoles for 2021. Uh, sad to report, it is still a messy game, buggy as hell, and it's just, it's playable though. But I would argue that Xbox One S feels sort of like a cyberpunk level of performance compared to every other console. Uh, that is my recommendation. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comment section below. And I'm in Moral 7, Richie Rich Labs, and I'll see you all in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the bell. Peace out.